the first things that I do when I create a piece of art is to write words on the blank piece of paper. These words will be, could be a short poem, quotation, could be just getting out the feelings I have in the, mo in the moment. I write without editing and just write all over the place. I am freeing my mind of any angst or anxiety that might be pent up and getting it all out so that creativity can happen and happen freely. The next step involves covering up some of the words because those words are texture right now. They have no other meaning than texture that might come through um, later on. So the, th the thing I'm going to do right now is use some gesso to cover up those words, um, slightly obliterate them. And the way I do that sometimes, one of the ways I do that, is taking my brayer and dipping it into the gesso that I've put on a palette and just rubbing over it. Now you may notice that the words don't completely disappear. This is exactly what I want. I don't want to completely obliterate the words. I just want them to recede just a tiny bit. And because I'm a very impatient person sometimes, I'm going to hit this gesso with the heat gun, dry it off, so I can get to the next step. And that next step actually is gluing down bits of paper. And my glue of choice is matte medium. I, I prefer Liquitex matte medium. I do use um, Golden's matte medium. Um, I don't, I'm not a fan of the Mod Podge or the others, but I do use these to glue it down because most of the papers I use are fairly thin. Um, I do use some cardstock. Here is a dictionary page that I'm just stripping down to um, make it a better size, I guess. I don't know. And invariably, when I glue something down, it is either with my finger, if it's small enough, or for this large piece, you can see I brought in the paintbrush. Um, I glue under and, and I put glue over it, so it really seals it down. And the thing that I like about the dictionary page is it provides a constant texture. It really, I love the lines of words. and. Um, that is one of my favorite papers to use. I went to a thrift store and I think I got this particular textbook or dictionary page for probably about two dollars. So I have lots of paper. The next paper in this Gather 5 is part of my painted paper. The paper you see underneath the, the um, board or the, the substrate is actually what I paint on. And I like to, when it's filled up, I like to actually take that paper and tear it apart and stash it somewhere so I can use in my art pieces. This is a another page. Actually, this is, this is probably a page from the Toastmasters old, old, old book. And I think I got that one for 50 cents at the same time. I'm going to speed up the process here a bit.